Welcome to the Alex Hansry Podcast for February 4th, 2015. And I've been thinking about doing more of these podcasts. Let me know if you're a fan of them and the new style, the new format. And I'm thinking about doing more of these throughout the week in between the TV show. So more focus needs to be given to certain topics that I've discussed recently. The war on men is one of them. And I really think that society should reconsider its whole scale demonization of men based on their... Um, primitive based desires to procreate we were made in a certain way and i think that there may be uh, more to the story about the origins of humanity but whole scale demonization of uh, the male sex is extremely self-hating it takes a man and a woman to make a man or a woman for that matter women come from men they come from the sperm cell it's not just about the egg we need each other and that's not just rhetoric so we're being divided and put into this new artificial reality where true humanity is not being cherished but demonized. The sacred masculine and feminine is missing in today's men and women, which in reality are acting more like boys and girls. Out of compassion for where the younger generation ends up, we must speak against and condemn this condemnation of our boys and girls of our men and women, because it is not just the men who are being attacked, it are the women as well. And what kind of society do the women end up in where the men have been feminized, where they have no confidence, where they have no consciousness, where they're willing to sign up and die in foreign lands without knowing the full story? What kind of society do women end up in where the society is being easily duped into war after war, banker bailout after banker bailout, where the men and women's minds are brainwashed with hardcore pornography and violent video games. Where does society eventually end up? In some sort of happy utopia where robots are spoon feeding us and we're being given our drugs intravenously with a big old smile on our face. Where do we really end up down the line? The future of the human species. And where is the love for the future of the human species? So these are things to ask ourselves. We should now allow ourselves to become victimized by the mind control to begin to hate others or hate ourselves. And when people spend all their time hating others, it really reflects on how they view themselves. And when people are taught to hate others, it actually creates a negative backlash. And in a way, those people being led towards hate end up feeling what they create and what they project. So this is not being done. This manufactured war of the genders, and in particular, the uh, war on the male image, it is not being done for the betterment of women in society or society at all. It's coming from a dark place and it needs to be discussed. Where is the compassion? Where is the concern for the younger generation? Young, disenfranchised men today playing video games, watching hardcore pornography, watching the UFC, being led astray in their schools, and then hearing this anti-male rhetoric as they're growing up, as their hormones kick in, as they begin to create their own self-identity as they progress into adulthood. As they begin to understand their fears, their hopes, their loves, their resentments, their pains, their traumas. There is danger in a society that is exposed to long-term trauma, induced trauma, that comes about from hearing a barrage of hateful things about yourself, be it your race, be it your sex, be it your income class, be it from your ancestry. There are psychological effects that take place in human consciousness in both males and females. And this is not being addressed. This is not being addressed. This is not being addressed in the new age community. 
To the best of my knowledge, this is barely or not even being addressed in the religious community. There seems to be a widespread blind spot to the nature of evil and how men and women are being turned against each other and how this goes completely against nature and anything spiritual. This is happening now. This is not the future, some future dystopian world. This is happening now. All of those positive attributes of a man are being stripped from the archetype. And the archetype is being redressed as a villain. And the people are being told about this villain. And young people that are still developing their minds, their brains, they are being told that they are that villain. But in this world of propaganda, not all the propaganda is painting that villain in a dark light. When you look at the video games, when you look at the characters in the WE and, and other forms of pop culture, the villain is promoted as something to become. And a lot of this started at least a decade ago at least prior to 9-11, but this dialogue has been ongoing since 9-11. The death of the hero and the rise of the villain in movies and pop culture and so-called professional wrestling. And it's been coordinated. It's been a coordinated theme to turn men towards dark things and violence and destruction. And that includes sexual abuse. That includes rape. There's, There's... a lot of mind control that is uh, currently taking place. And a lot of it comes from um, things seen in the media. These are things that people are exposed to on a regular basis. However, there isn't really widespread discussion about this by adults in today's society. How much of this is actually taking place. For the most part, there's widespread denial. And that widespread denial in society today in regards to some sort of uh, conspiracy or dark plot to uh, pervert the image of man or a woman, um, that denial has not gone away. And it it almost seems to be self-perpetuating. The more people deny it, the worse the problem actually gets. And the worse it's getting. And, you know, a lot of these ideas seem really fresh and new a couple years ago. The idea that there's a gender war. Because 10 years ago, it certainly wasn't this bad. And every year, it seems like we're seeing this whole program accelerate more. So there's less denial now. And there is more discussion online about not only this, but the rise of narcissism in today's society and other things. And the way I interpret that, that's, you know, there's people out there that like to be worshipped that are all about themselves in the material plane. And while I don't believe in a collective shift in consciousness, there are aspects of society that are becoming more conscious and we're starting to recognize these personality traits in others as we seek to evolve ourselves and deal with our shadow self, that aspect of ourselves that needs to evolve. So a lot of people take offense when I start looking at this uh, archetype of evil that they want us to become. And there is a male-female version of it. It's not just one sex. There's like a female version and a male version. This archetype. And when I criticize this Uh, Dark feminine, dark masculine, villain archetype. People take offense because there are aspects of that archetype that they have identified in themselves. And the more conscious path would be to not take offense. And if there's anything that I'm discussing in these future podcasts, when I analyze the dark feminine and dark masculine villain archetype, then the best thing that anyone can do is to find out how they themselves can deal with that part of themselves and evolve and move beyond that part of themselves that may be inclined to let someone dominate them or their own inclination to dominate others 
or their own inclination to turn against good and actually be turned on by evil or wickedness. There, there, there's, there's been some tinkering within our own genotype. I do believe something is going on. And that whole-scale demonization of either men or women is not the solution. But we have to take a look at this archetype of evil that they are trying to bring into manifestation in the whole of mankind. What they are trying to turn us into. Into something more like them. Whoever they are. But one thing is certain. This is anti-human. And not coming from a few rich white men smoking cigars at a Bilderberg conference. There is something far more than meets the eye in this war on humanity, which is taking place in multiple forms. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this podcast and you want to hear more, let me know. We'll talk to you next time.